Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our co-main event of the evening. Our co-main event is brought to you by The Eatery, right up there here at the sports table. Join us up there for the after party after the conclusion of the fight. This is an elimination Muay Thai title bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Out of the red corner, Seth Turpin. Drew Dober, our co-main event of the evening, Muay Thai title fight action. I know you're excited. This is why I'm here. I, I, I love watching this. Muay Thai in a cage, though. It's uh, slightly different. We were talking about it earlier. Uh, the corner makes a big difference. Not being able to bounce and balance off the ropes uh, is a difference for sure. The cage is a lot bigger, so definitely more difficult to corral your opponent. It's definitely very unique, but uh, I think both these fighters uh, are well prepared and know what they're getting themselves into. And uh, I have a feeling they're going to stay in the center. Seth Turpin out of Rad Muay Thai comes to us with a record of four and zero. Come in undefeated like that, you're definitely in line for a title shot. He was supposed to have fought for Sparta a couple of cards ago. Something happened with his opponent. He was unable to make it, so had really just a very prolonged training camp for this title fight. Unfortunately, that happens everywhere, all promotions at all levels. I mean, it's, it's hard to get two men in, an, uh, in a cage at the same time. Yeah, it's unfortunate, yes, indeed. Out of the blue corner, your current reigning defending champion, Koi Carney. Another Oklahoma fighter, our current champion, Mr. Carney, making his way to the cage right now. This is his fight moniker as Carnage. Not a bad nickname if you're going to be a fighter. Not a bad one. <laughs> but with the nickname uh, Seth the Tornado Turpin, doesn't mean he's going to spin a lot? <laughs> And Mr. Carney, a 12 and five record. That's a lot of experience. I mean, these Muay Thai fighters, so they, they get a ton of fights in. I mean, I, I'm surprised, you know, we don't see more experience, for, you know, from these fighters. And it's nothing like Thailand where the guys have, you know, 163 fights. All right, Mr. Turpin, 25 years old. Believe it or not, that makes him the elder. He's five feet, nine inches tall, made the 147 pound cutoff and has a four and zero record and is a Muay Thai fighter. And we have the champion, Koi Carney, age 21, standing five foot 10 with a weight of 147, record of 12 and five. And he's coming into this Muay Thai bout with the style of boxing. Mr. Turpin and I commented, or did commentary together on the Army versus Marines show. And I know he's a big fan of the leg kicks. Uh, at least as far as watching that happen during the fights that we saw, see if he implements that as a plan of attack during his fight here this evening. Do you want to make note that this is the uh, elimination Muay Thai, so they're wearing yes. elbow pads. They're allowed to strike, but um, not bare elbowed. And then being a Muay Thai fight, they're allowed to engage in a clinch for a longer period of time. The ref will allow uh, more of the clinch fighting. And in your opinion, uh, the clinch fighting in, in a traditional Muay Thai fight, how does the cage play a different? Uh, the ability to work your opponent's upper body when you're in the ring with the ropes, a lot of times that top rope will be at almost waist level. And so you get bent backwards or you can move your head and your shoulders back away from the attack of your opponent. Whereas in the cage, once you're in an upright position, that's pretty much as far back as you're able to go. So a lot of the evasiveness is taken away from you. Have to do a lot more with circling your footwork. Right, right. And uh, in, in traditional Muay Thai in the, in the ropes, you see the, the ref grab that top rope and pull fighters to the center, trying to keep the action going. And uh, that's practically impossible to do yep. in a cage. 
and only occasionally does the referee actually rip the top rope down. <laughs> only Oscar Martinez does. <laughs> Drew, for those not to know, Drew and I are making jokes that the last <laughs> set of fights that we had, uh, the top rope came undone during a movie tie fight. So you got a big beefy referee just pulling off that <laughs> top rope. So we had to now have fights in a cage. And here comes the belt. To the victor goes the spoils. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. An elimination Muay Thai title bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the King of Beers, Budweiser Red Corner. He's a Muay Thai style fighter with a record of four wins and zero losses. Standing five foot nine inches tall, he weighed in at 148 pounds with Red Muay Thai from Aurora, Colorado, Seth the Tornado Tarpe! Fighting out of the Australia Helico Blue Corner. He has a record of 12 wins, five losses. Standing five foot, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 147.4 pounds. With fours of combat sports from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He is your reigning, defending, welterweight champion, Coy Garnage! Referee Oscar Martinez. Gentlemen, we're, fun, we're fighting under full Muay Thai rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. We are doing three three minute rounds. Good? Touch them up. Back to your corners. Three three minute rounds, as Oscar Martinez said. It is full Muay Thai rules. It means elbows are allowed, although they are wearing pads because it's in elimination division fight. Neck wrestling is allowed, and you are allowed to do certain types. Go! Up sweeps and takedowns. Center. Turpin wears black and yellow. Koi Carnage Carney wearing black and white. Clash of knees as they both went for the same strike. And Turpin getting to work with the knees early. Carnage tries to off balance them. Good footwork by Turpin. Listen, Carney has a. a Unique stance for Muay Thai, kind of more of a boxer stance. Yeah, well, he did list himself as a boxer in the uh, tail of the tape, so. <clears throat> Makes absolute sense. Now, with that stance, uh, I feel like the lead leg will be open for uh, Turpine to, to throw those leg kicks, but Turpine seems to be enjoying the, the clinch. Yeah, Turpin definitely uh, liking the close in work so far. Oh, good spinning back <laughs> You ask if Tornado as the nickname meant he was going to spin, ask and answer. He's doing a good job of raising his guard to raise the elbows of uh, his opponent and throwing these side knees. And now we get to watch the uh, the clinch work against the cage. Spiking elbows thrown by Carnage. Pick up those punches there. Nice pace set by these guys. Fast pace but methodical. Right. Token did a good job of throwing the, the fight to the mat. But he's doing a, a situation where he's a leading with his head, which is falling into the clinch. I think his game plan is to, to, to lead into the clinch, but he's dipping his head a lot. Where Carney is now putting together the boxing combination with a beautiful elbow at the end there. And I heard the, I was just going to say, I heard the corner of Carney calling for elbow strikes. Carney using his guard to then set up a good step in a clench elbow. Turpin really wants a clinch. He's almost just putting his head down and reaching both hands forward to try to grab the clinch. Carney did a good job of using his forearms to create the space to land short damage. And have to adjust the left elbow pad on Carney. Carney with that lip, liver oh shot. Oh, I don't think he's going to be able to get up. Oh, he's oh, back up to his feet. Up. Well done, young man. Carney needs to start high and go back to that liver shot. It's a very, very difficult shot to recover from. There it is, and right there. there. Is again. You called it. Start high, exactly what he did. Go back to it. He found his target. 
Man, it's really hard oh, to get that's up just that. brutal. Liver shots just shut it down, and that's it. That is it. Beautiful job. For those that haven't been hit with a liver shot, it is just your body shuts off. It's not a matter of wanting to get up or not being able to deal with the pain. Your body literally just quits functioning and you cannot do what you want to. Your body just goes into shock. Yeah. I mean, as soon as you, that liver is touched, I mean, your entire body just gives up. And you can have all the will in the world, but you just can't stand up from it. Turns out your liver is important. <laughs> <laughs> but well done. I mean, I, I loved how uh, Carney was using his, his, his guard to, to frame out that distance to then land a boxing combination, step in with those elbows, and once Turpin's hands came high, he went low with that body shot. Yeah, it was a really nice job of mixing boxing technique with buoy tie technique. He blended them together very seamlessly. That was his experience showing pain off for him and letting us know why he's the current and defending champion. And uh, defending the championship is exactly what he was able to do tonight. Congratulations, Mr. Carnage Carney. Make that drive back to Oklahoma a little easier. You can go ahead and say he's a Muay Thai fighter. He's <laughs> shown a lot more than just boxing. Let's tonight. go with that. Agreed. Yes. And Turpin still down on the canvas. Hate to see that, but the recovery from a liver shot is oftentimes just a matter of hey, just give it some time to recover your body has to reboot and come back online it's not always an instant thing i think also the medical staff is good job making sure they're not trying to stand up yeah don't truly don't just jump up and then tip over and get right. a secondary injury you still gotta get down those stairs off the cage big smiles over in the corner of carney waiting to take that belt home and Put it up on the wall with his others. Oh, Turpin. Still not able to rise to his feet. They're getting him actually down to a supine position. He's lying down now. Big smiles over in the corner of Carney. Back to being able to relax a little bit. Now I think they're going to call for the backboard. That's a, unfortunate to see. It might have been a, a rib injury. So, you know, when you're your core is, is broken, it, it, it's hard to move freely. Yeah, yeah. I hate seeing this, you know, with fighters. You took the words out of my mouth that there might be a rib injury uh, correct on that. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, thoughts and prayers go out to Seth Turpin for putting on that fight performance. Referee Oscar Martinez called the stop to this about two minutes, 38 seconds into the first round, declaring your winner by knockout and still! Coy Carnage Carney! Let's bring that belt over here, get it around this guy's waist, huh? Get excited, Sparta! There we go, there we go. Grab that around there. So in that fight, you're like, are you looking for that shot? Of course, I'm always looking for the, uh, the liver shot. Uh, anyone that's seen my fights in the past knows that's, that's what I'm going for. Um, first and foremost as well, I want to thank uh, my team. And my team uh, at Forza Combat Sports and Coach Leah Perucci and the entire team um, in, that, in Tulsa, Oklahoma for helping me, get, uh, helping me bring home performances like this. Um, and I want to thank my sponsors, Integrity Biomedical Services, GT Security, and Sparta Coffee for helping me uh, uh, come out and put on shows like this. That's exciting. We're going to get back into it with Stewie over here. Congratulations. Let's keep that title going.